how to fast and easy enable and use the built-in surface level in our Samsung Galaxy A54. If you want to know if your surface, if your table is not leveled, you can use your phone to know how leveled it is. Where it is, it's very easy. You only have to use your edge functions and activate it and activate the tools. If the tools are activated, you're gonna see this option that it's a compass, you can calibrate it, and then you're gonna go to the three dots that's in the top and select your surface level, and this is gonna tell you if you're in the level position, where you're gonna do if you have to move or lift your table or not. If this is not activated in your phone, all you have to go is to settings, display find the option called edge panels then select turn it on then select panels and activated the option called tools and that's all you have to do like the channel subscribe to the channel comment the channel and give me some bucks to my paypal account thank you very fast and easy how to split the screen view or divide in two apps the screen very easy is all you have to do you have to open the apps apps you have to open the app that you want to split and this app must be in the background then you're going to select or press this option that's this button that's in the bottom the three lines and you're going to find which of the two apps you want to split the first app that you select is going to be in the top and select this icon and here you can see open in a split blue split Split, split view the first one you select is going to be in the top and then here you're going to be on options of which other apps you can use in a split screen for example galaxy store apps and this is the easy way to split the screen you can move it up move it down and if you want to close all you have to do is move it to the bottom and remember that the first app is going to be always like the principal app. Like to the channel, subscribe, and remember to comment and thank you. Very fast and easy, how to change edit your panel control here in the Samsung Galaxy A54. By default, you see these six options or icons. If you scroll down more, there are more icons, but if you move right, there are more icons or apps. If you want to edit this, for example, here is the text screenshot. If you want to put this like a principal, you're gonna hold here the more button, and now you're gonna select the text screen and move it, move it to this side, and you have to put it in the first six. If you don't put it in the first things, go done, you're not going to see it in the top. Here it is as a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Another thing very important, if there are more icons, more apps, if you scroll down again, press the plus signal in the top, there are more options that you can select and put. All these that are on top are not visible for you. You have to take them down and then go, go and do them. So that's all for this video. Remember to subscribe, like, 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 and thank you. Very fast and easy. If you see in the bottom part of my phone, I'm going to show you how to add contact information on the long and on the lock screen of your phone. It's very easy on the Galaxy A54. And why would you put an email? But if you put on your phone number, maybe you lose your phone and there's no way they can call you if you lose the phone or you put the phone of a friend. How do you put that contact information in the lock screen? You're gonna go to settings and now you're gonna go to lock screen and now you're gonna select this option where is lock screen edit and in the bottom you're gonna select this option and here you can type all you want to type and I suggest you not to put your own phone number because if you if your phone number is lost, how are they gonna call you? Or put the phone number of a friend and put here like your name. But I think that Gmail email is a good option. Comment, what would you put? Subscribe, like, 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 and thank you. Fast and easy how to enter the recovery mode on the Samsung Galaxy A54 is very easy. All you have to do first of all is turn off your phone. Let's turn off the phone. Here, if you slice, sli swipe down, here is the power button option. 
power off power off and let's wait the phone to power off now the phone is off very important connect a power a data cable to your pc or this is not going to work you connect the cable to your pc and let's wait that it recognize that it's a data cable it's going to show the percent how much percent we have and when this is Finish, you're gonna press power button and volume up, volume up, power button, volume up, the two at a time. And when the phone starts, release power button and leave the volume up button up. And that's all you have to do. Very easy. You're in the reboot system now or recovery mode. Like, 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 subscribe, and thank you. Fast and easy how to check how much memory RAM does my Samsung Galaxy A54 have? How much does it have free? And how much is it really? Is this a six gigabytes or this is an eight gigabytes of RAM? Let's see, I'm gonna show you. Remember to subscribe and comment and like the video. Go. To to settings and now you're gonna go to battery and devices battery and devices and you're gonna select the third option called memory and as you can see this is a six gigabytes here it says six gigabytes and I, it has been used 3.3 gigabytes in that order there is only two gigabytes available and I think here you can clean now let's do some clean now let's see how many restore RAM can we do and available 2.6 gigabytes if you're gonna buy the galaxy a54 you must buy the 8 gigabytes maybe 6 gigabytes you're gonna be too core too little memory subscribe to the channel like 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 thank you and remember to subscribe fast and easy how to add a dual clock widget on the samsung galaxy a54 on the home screen is very easy all you have to do is access the widget options and install the clock if you don't have the clock installed on your phone and long press the principal screen in the bottom you're going to see the option called widgets and now you're going to find and scroll the option called clock and you're going to scroll down scroll down and here it is dual clock you're six selected go add okay here it is in this moment it put it all the way to the final screen but you're going to move it one by one to your principal screen here it is and all you have to do is go in each of it okay and you're gonna find the city for each one. In this case, I have Bogota for this one. And if I go in this one, you can select a different country. And that's all you have to do. Let's select Paris, change. And here it is Bogota and Paris. Very easy. Subscribe to the channel, comment, like, 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 and thank you. Fast and easy how to block calls from unknown numbers. Why you want to block calls from unknown numbers on your Samsung Galaxy A54? Because today there are lots of calls coming in our phones to sell products to a lot of things that we don't want to receive those calls. What you're going to do, I'm going to show you very fast. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Now you're going to go to your phone app and then here on keyboard not on recent not on contacts you have to be here on keyboard go to the three buttons on the bottom on the top go to settings and now here is the option the first option called block numbers you're gonna activate it and you can go to contacts and find maybe someone that you don't want to receive more calls from that person and if maybe you have received a recent call you don't know why that call came in you're gonna select that recent call and that's the way you're gonna block all that number that you don't want to receive phone calls from your contacts recent are numbers that are not on your contact list subscribe to the channel like 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 and thank you a lot very fast and easy how to enable the time steps or watermarks on the photographs of the photos of the samsung galaxy a54 and you can edit it too you're gonna go to your camera and here in the option of settings in the top you're gonna find the option called watermark now you're gonna go in the option and here's a little example of how it's gonna be in this case it shows model name galaxy a54 5g and you can select if you want it in the left in the center or in the right and you can edit this name let's go edit and you could put the name you want to put like i don't know like blah, 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 blah. 
save because I don't want the pictures to show like Samsung Galaxy A54. Maybe I want my name, my Instagram or something like that. And I can put the date of the picture, but the date I don't think is like important. Maybe your name, put your Instagram, your symbol and your Instagram and okay. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, like, 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 and thank you. And you can change the front. That's very interesting. Like, 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 bye, bye, bye. Very fast and easy how to change the language on the Samsung Galaxy A54 to English if your language is in a very, very difficult language that you don't know what it says here. If the video is good for you, remember I have a PayPal account in the description. Give me likes and some bucks. Now you're going to do the next things. You're not going to read because you don't understand what it says here. You're going to look the icons. So look the icons and find this icon that is the general settings this icon that i'm showing you this one is the general settings now go in this option and then you're gonna go in the first option this one this is the language option now here you can see that it is english spanish but if english and spanish is not here you can put or select this plus and you're gonna find here english or spanish or your language and that's all you have to do in this case there's english here select this option and let's wait that's all we have to do and that's all and our phone is normal again in english like 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 subscribe and remember to donate some paypal books for me like 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 see you next time